<sighs> hey guys, this is GWA Network here. I'm your host, Curtis Smith, and today. Today, what the fuck? Anyways, let's get started on part 39 of Home Gym. Let's get st And I'm already downloading GTA 5 on my computer right now. Which means I'm probably going to start playing GTA 5 once the home gym... I'm probably going to start making GTA 5 videos once the home gym series has completed its course. Once the home gym series has completed its course... from head to toe. Which means the strength training room, the cardio room, as well as the yoga room has been completed. Maybe even the CrossFit room. Like, I completed the general strength training room. Now, moving on to cardio room. The general strength training room has been complete. Now I'm focusing on the cardio room. <laughs> now, to the cardio room. Once the cardio room has been finished,
I'd go towards doing the yoga room. The general strength training room would have free weight and would be mostly free weight and body weight exercises. The only exercises that wouldn't be body weight would be the leg press and the lat pull down. Like neither free weight nor body weight. The supine row, uh, the supine row is the body weight version of the bent over row. Mm -hmm. It takes a matter of discipline to deal with hunger pangs when losing weight. And lots of water! If you want to be able to deal with the hunger pangs as you're losing weight. Because the hunger pangs are like a barrier to weight loss. What I did help me lose weight was chug lots of water. Like, lots of fluids, too. Not just water, but plenty of fluids. I even chugged lots of coffee, too. Normally, I don't put sugar in my coffee anymore. The secret to weight loss? Drink lots of coffee. Preferably without any sweetener nor creamer. I know some people don't like their coffee bitter. But they should slowly, like... I was able to go cold turkey on the sugar. For the coffee. I was able to go cold turkey. I used to be a diabetic myself, but thanks to a couple tips, like like early di uh, the earlier you're diagnosed, the better the prognosis becomes. Will be the earlier you are diagnosed. The earlier you are diagnosed, the better your prognosis would be. Early detection can save so many lives. And the orange guy, <clears throat> the, that orange Nazi with tiny hands and, and fake hair has got him, has gotten impeached. By the way, if you don't know, if you didn't know about what's going on in the news recently, I hardly have, I don't watch a lot of news because a lot of it is fake. Yes, this also includes Fox News. I'd rather 
gonna have wide neck for president instead of tiny e e hands, orange skin, fake hair Nazi. <laughs> I'd rather have wide neck for president than that. I neither like Donald Trump nor do I like Hillary. If I would have voted in a 2016 election, assuming I was born in 1998 or earlier, I would have probably voted for a libertarian. I would have voted for Gary Johnson. Jill Stein. They would have been my two likely candidates. Instead of Hillary, nor Donald, like, nor Conrad, uh, 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 I would have voted for either Gary Johnson or Jill Stein. Instead of the Hillary, or the racist orange guy, with fake hair and tiny hands. Or maybe, and if Joe Rogan would have been part of the presidential race, I would have voted for him. for Dro uh, Joe Rogan if he would have been part of the presidential race. What would it be like if Joe Rogan would have been president? People would have called him President Vitiligo. <laughs> Rogan in office than those two crooks. socialist in Congress than either a Stalinist or a Nazi. Hiroshima and Nagasaki was wrong to begin with. We should have thought twice before dropping nukes. Like, America should have thought twice before starting the Manhattan Project.
We should have thought twice before starting the project, uh, the nuclear weapons project. Joe Rogan would be a better candidate than those two crooks. He'd be a better candidate than those two crooks, in my opinion. Joe Rogan in office than those two crooks. socialist in office than I would a billionaire. Or someone who killed people in Benghazi. Like, and covered it up. Hillary Clinton is, like, she's, a lot of people believe she's a liberal. The truth is, she's not a true liberal. Because there are, there are, because it's not just leftists that tend to take part in gun control. A lot of conservatives blame it on all on the leftists. But the truth is, there are right wingers who are <clears throat> who also who also want gun control. Especially neo Nazis. I, I don't think, 
gun control to authoritarianism more than liberalism. More, even more so than liberalism. This is because Nazi Germany imposed gun control. The result? Millions of innocent people dead. Like, they did that to make sure people wouldn't overthrow the government. Gun control is going to make it hard for us to overthrow authoritarian regimes. What we need to do is hold on to democracy as long as possible. Bring us closer to direct democracy. Bring the world closer to direct democracy. Kind of like how Switzerland is done. In Switzerland has gun rights yet the crime rate is so low. That's because that's mainly because they invest more in poverty reduction and mental health. Very likely so. When it goes like if we want um, big tobacco companies don't just target the American poor. They target the global poor, too. As more and more Americans avoid cigarettes. They have to go toward... Uh, like, basically, they're trying to, to target the global poor just so they could keep making profits. As more and more Americans know about the dangers of smoking. And try to avoid cigarettes altogether. When it goes to markets, there's nothing free about a free market. Because if we make a market completely free, there wouldn't be any regulation, which means people would have to risk their life to get stuff. Like, basically, buying stuff would be like playing a game of Russian roulette if there's no regulation. It'd be like playing a game of Russian roulette. Basically, it'll be like playing a game of Russian Roulette. It'll be like playing a game of Russian Roulette. <laughs> this is why we need regulation. in the market. What makes it to where there's nothing free about a free market? Um, if it was truly a free market, um, hmm, what would happen is there wouldn't be any regulation. And people would literally have to risk their lives, like, just to sustain themselves. Like, basically, it's like playing a game of Russian Roulette. When you buy stuff. In my evolutionary... In my theory of socialism, the first state of socialism, in my theory would be state capitalism, in which the state would start corporate raids against big companies. 
Like, they'd buy out every last share. The state would do that. So they could use the profit for the greater good of everyone. The profits for the greater good of uh, greater good of everyone. That'd be the first stage. And after that would be the start of. Uh, and once that occurred with all the business, uh, with m most of the big businesses, then would be the start of social democracy. <laughs> Then would be it would be the start of social democracy. <clears throat> then, as more businesses start uh, of the every big business gets raided by the estate, then it would go to democratic socialism, which would mean the dis the dissolution of capitalism. Then. Eventually, the money, uh, money, uh, like class, social class, money, and the state would eventually dissolve. With the means of production going under common ownership. With means of production going under common ownership. <sighs> distribution of consumer goods that, that is not food would be equal distribution. There would be equal distribution. But with food, that'd be kind of a different story, because we all have different physiological needs. Like, the distribution of food would be based on physiological needs. Basically... With and part of it would be the communal housing, which would mean everyone would have their own rooms, yet they would have to share a kitchen. They'd share like it'd be kind of a cafeteria-like area. Um, it'd be kind of a cafeteria. go towards then as the state social class and money dissolve like they would dissolve while civil liberties are preserved even the right to bear arms like this it would be one of the because you learn Everyone would be encouraged to get together and vote. Like, come up with decisions. Like, basically, one of the aspects of my ideology would be global democracy. World, direct democracy on a global scale. In which, if a person comes up, like, comes up with a proposal for a new law, and once it gets, it would become law once it gets at least 50% support from the entire population of the planet.
There would be no social hierarchy at all. Basically, everyone would share political power. Which would mean we'd go towards isocracy. And anyways, this should be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe for more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more content like this. And as always, this is GWA Network signing off. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And the bell icon if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, bye.